Hey! I can. I'm sure I can. Roberts, he's late. The doctor sends all his apologies, madam, and to the guests, but regrets that he will not be home for dinner. But he just came in. He sent word, madam, through the coachman. Thank you, Roberts. Very good, madam. How do you feel now? I feel terrible. And you know something else? Do you know how long you were under this time? I really don't, Jim. Nineteen minutes, and I jabbed you every fifteen seconds with this. Ouch. I'm getting a feeling like a pin cushion. Come on, we'll go right down to see him now. We'll get a bite to eat on the way. Here you are. So there you are. You've been dodging me as long as you're going to you and your new discoveries. Who are you? Go down and get me a cab. I'll join you in a moment. Now, what is it? You've swindled me. I'd be a little more careful of my verbs if I were you, Professor. I'll use any verbs I like, and that goes for adverbs and adjectives. You swandangled me into accepting 10% of this lethean or whatever you call it. You wanted $500. You're going to get much more. What are you complaining about? You didn't reveal its possibilities to me. You pretended to be a poor little dentist trying to get along. And when I suggested ether you... To you suggested chloric ether drops. That didn't work. Maybe I did, but... That's what gave you the idea. Did it give you the idea? I've known all about sulfuric ether for years and why you should come along and profit by my discovery. The only trouble with you, Professor, is that you're a little bit cracked in the head. You did not discover ether narcosis. I did. Now, is there anything else? I'll have 25% of that patent I signed. Oh, by Joseph, well, I'll... You better take it up with Joseph, because as far as I'm concerned, you're already getting more than you deserve. I could have gone to any chemist in the city to find out what I wanted to know. It happened, I came to you. That is your ultimatum? That means what I think it means, it is. Very well, sir. Yes, sir. We'll see. We certainly shall. You know, this could go on all night. I'm going down to the Massachusetts General to ask Professor Warren to try the lethean. You want to come along? You mean in a surgical case? Don't you know the difference between a serious operation and yanking a tooth? You'll kill somebody yet with this murderous nonsense of yours, as sure as my name is Jackson. Then I take it you don't want to come along. Come along? If you even mention my name to Professor Warren as co-discoverer... Well, then make up your mind. Are you in or out or on the fence? You'll find out, young man. All right. You'll see. All right, I'll see. Yes, yes, but Professor Warren is performing an emergency operation. Then I'll wait. You don't seem to understand that after an operation, a surgeon is completely innovated, exhausted. All the more reason. My dear Dr. Martin. Martin. Uh, Martin. As Professor Warren's assistant, part of my duty is to shield him, to the best of my ability, from the many well-meaning, well, I won't say cranks, but let me say uh, amateur inventors who come here every day with every kind of goo and gym crack for every purpose imaginable. Now, only yesterday... But you don't understand. Was... My method's being used by all my assistants on hundreds of people all day long. In dentistry, my dear sir. But what has dentistry to do with medicine? But here's the living proof. I... It was the night of September 30th. I was in excruciating Yes, I know you told me all about that when you first came in. Now, if you will be so good as to uh, write to uh, Professor Warren, you you will very probably receive an answer. Thank you. Uh, you're entirely welcome. I was in exclusive. Yes, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Yes.
with your generosity, Professor Warren. From the loftiness of your own viewpoint, you're apt to overlook the meanness and avariciousness of these little people. You mean you intend to ignore the protest of your colleagues in the society, the men who put you in charge of this hospital? You know very well that I can't. I only wish I could. What do you want me to do, ask him what this stuff is? That's all. Nothing more. And if he won't tell us? In that case, we shall have to operate in the good old-fashioned way. After all, people have been operated on for centuries without any assistance from the dental profession. Dr. Morton is here, Professor Warren. Ask him to come in here for a moment. By all means. Will you step in, Dr. Morton? Uh-uh, uh, just the doctor, oh, if yes, you please. You, are. you wanted to see me, Professor Warren? A very disagreeable situation has arisen, Dr. Morton. My colleagues of the Massachusetts Medical Society have protested against our operation this afternoon. What? These gentlemen are their delegates. As you probably know, Mr. Morton, physicians may not use nor prescribe patent medicines, the ingredients of which they ignore. In other words, they think you're trying to make money out of your stuff. I don't care whether you do or not. My only interest lies in the fact that it works. <laughs> you had me worried for a moment. Believe me, gentlemen, I've never had the slightest intention of making money out of this. Lethion is yours, freely and in perpetuity. Not only your property, but that of all other hospitals and charitable institutions in this country and in all other countries. That's very generous of you, Mr. Morton. But I'm not sure you quite understood what I said. Physicians may not use nor prescribe patent medicines, the ingredients of which they ignore. Unfortunately, we still ignore the ingredients of your mixture. Of course, you can understand why I can't tell you that, can't you, Professor Warren? It's the secret of my business, the one advantage I have over my rivals. If I were to tell you what lithium was, in no time at all, everybody would be using it. Would that be such a catastrophe? I'm afraid it might be for me. You see, my patent hasn't been granted yet. It's still pending. Maybe if you'd use the lithium this way for a little while, why, later, after my patent had been granted... You could sell it for more money. What? Why, you stuffy little... Morton. You've been splitting Morton. fees and robbing your patients so long that you... Stop it! The ethics of our profession have done much more good than harm. They don't happen to fit this case. That is regrettable. There's nothing more to be said. I thank you for your good intention. You mean you're going to continue to let people be tortured when it isn't necessary? That's a very high-handed interpretation to put on the matter, my friend. No. We will share the blame, Dr. Morton. You and I. Make the patient ready. Yes, sir. I shall operate in the usual way. Preposterous. isn't as bad as it sounds, sir. Some gentleman has made a new discovery, and it doesn't hurt anymore. That's 
right. It doesn't hurt anymore. Now, however again. Yeah.